All right, this is just a quick video on how to set up contact so that you can mix each individual drum in your DAW on their own auxiliary track. All right, so first off, I'm gonna show you the part that I'm gonna be working with. All right, so I have right here contact five open and i have all the drums just playing out of a stereo um stereo instrument but say you want to mix these instruments individually on their own tracks without using the uh plugins without using the plugins own effects how would you do that so what you're going to want to do is come up here to where it says output make sure that it's highlighted and you're going to have all these different uh channels down here and what these stand for is all the things labeled kick will play through here, or all the things labeled snare through here, and so on. Now, what these things at the bottom do tells you which auxiliary send they are going to. So, right now they're all set to uh, stereo one two, which is playing out of just the plugin by itself out of its um, stereo auxiliary. But say you want to send those to separate channels. Here's what you do: since this is a kick drum, you really only need one channel for that. Click on this and you select on assigned one. All right. Go to the snare. You want that to be just one channel. You go to auxiliary two and you just keep doing that all the way down till you get to some stereo channels such as crashes. All right. So I have kick all the way down through ride is already going through their own outputs. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and those are for all of those instruments. But you get to crash, and um, this is gonna be a stereo out, so what you're gonna do is keep that too. Since one and two are already taken, I usually go auxiliary one, then auxiliary one, two. There we go, got Splash China. Click on a different one, you got 2 1 and 2 2. Then we have the overheads, and I'll do say 3 1 and 3 2. So that has all the outs, I believe, for the drum set. You have all these right here are going to be the mono, all these are going to be the stereo. I got 8 mono, 3 stereo. Alright, so all this is set, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Now what you're going to want to do, make some new tracks. When you do a mono, these to be auxiliaries, and then we got three stereo auxiliaries. Create those, and you can name these kick, snare, Tom one, and so on. All right, so now I have all of these auxiliaries labeled according to each group in contact. I got kick, snare, Tom one, Tom two, Tom three, Tom four, hi hat, ride, crash, splash, slash China, and overheads. All right, so now that these are labeled, if you want to bring up contact to help you out with this, it could be could be helpful. All right, so you have the kick. You see that this is in unassigned one. So you'll go over to the kick, the input. You go down to plugin, contact five drums, and you go to that corresponding uh, selection. So you got unassigned one, so now you're going to have unassigned two, and so on. Basically, you just have to match up everything, all the outputs from here to the inputs of your auxiliaries. All right, so now we have all of the outputs in contact aligned with the inputs of the auxiliaries. That should be all you have to do to set them up. Let's just play the track back. I want to mute. I want to mute the uh, drum track as well, the original. All right, as you will see, all of the uh, tracks are being played through each of the individual auxiliaries and that's how you do it.